Hello and welcome to a new video. I hope that you are staying safe and healthy and this is the second video of practicing portraits and we are going to be testing out the Loomis method, finding out what it is, how beginner friendly it is for me personally and putting it to the test. So let's get into it. So first of all, as a beginner of drawing portraits, being able to draw a head in proportion and at different angles was something that was quite hard to wrap my head around and knowing it being a fundamental thing to start off with, I turned to YouTube for answers. So this is the first method that I am trying out. If there is another method that you would like me to try out, then leave it all in the comments down below as always. Okay, so a lot of tutorials on drawing heads in proportion appear to be the Loomis method, at least a loose concept of it. And after watching a few tutorials, I bumped into Proko's video, how to draw a head from any angle. And this was the most easy to understand video that was also in enough detail for me to understand which line I was making and why without going into so much detail that it was overbearing. So for me, this video was perfect. Then later, I found his free part videos on sketching with the Loomis method, which really broke down how to use the Loomis method for an average head, and then how to use it intuitively for different proportion heads and so forth. These videos were incredibly helpful, so if you want to see them, I have them linked down below for you to check out. Now that I found this wonderful teaching source, I then made rough notes of all four of his videos so that I could quickly refer to them and start practicing this for myself. When starting off with this method, I start with the circle, firstly making a curved circle line and then I followed that line and then loosening up my wrist going round in a circle motion to easily get that rough circle outline. Then I went on with the oval shape, which is to indicate the side of the cranium. For this, I look at where the cheekbones come in or a little further out from the end of the eyebrows to know how wide to make the oval. These were two things that helped me that wasn't mentioned in the videos, so I thought I'd mention it to you now. The other lines I found to be quite straightforward and easy to use. After using multiple references at different angles, it was easy to transform the lines in the circle to form a believable head shape quite quickly, and with the lines guiding you on where to place the facial features. Then I moved on to trying this guide to drawing two heads but adding all the facial features and shading. I found that using the Loomis method, I was more confident in drawing the heads, which meant that I was a lot quicker as I wasn't second guessing myself constantly. I did roughly measure to see which thirds of the head were shorter as most heads won't fit the perfect average. Each line was very effective to suggesting where to place the features. So with the bottom of the nose on the third middle line that curves round from under the side plane of the cranium and drawing the nose in line to the center line of the front plane. Starting with the nose I feel is a good starting point for me as it's in the center and I can map out how far the mouth and the eyes are to the nose and then adjusting the cheekbones and the jaw shape to where I had drawn the features. In this video, I am focusing on using the Loomis method to draw heads and then placing features. I still have a long way to go on how to shade, drawing each of the features, and a number of other things which I'm excited to learn about in the coming videos of this ongoing series. At this stage, getting the features down and the head shape was the goal and the only thing I was more confident at. 
And I think that the two heads that I drew in the end were believable and there wasn't any features that looked overall disproportionate or wonky, even though I know it's not perfect. I feel that sketching heads was so much more easy and straightforward with the Loomis method and would definitely recommend it to beginners. I will say that the Loomis method really helps in placing the brows and the nose but ultimately can't tell you how large or far apart to draw something so in terms of accuracy you do need to have a sharp eye to see how to draw these features which is something that I know I need to improve but after learning the Loomis method I feel that the learning process can really speed up. The second face that I drew, you can see that my shading is more disciplined and less rough and harsh. This is because while waiting for my camera battery to charge, I was watching videos on how to shade because after doing the first face, I felt that I was randomly adding shadows and was less purposeful to bringing out the form. So already I felt that second face was an improvement on the first. This was a great first step as I need to learn where to place facial features so when I learn how to do them properly, it can all fall into place. And that is all for this video, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe to see the coming videos of this playlist so that we can learn how to do portraits together, as well as learning and trying different watercolour paintings. And as always, God bless and I'll see you later.